Guys, guys, you can relax. I'm not here today to talk about the emotion of love. I am here today to speak about emotional intelligence and its influence on leadership. We all know this person, somebody who is wicked smart, just wicked smart, and no matter, no matter how successful they may be, we all know they would be so much more successful if they would just stop shooting themselves in the foot by saying the wrong thing to the wrong person at the wrong time in the wrong way. If you know somebody like that, raise your hand. Okay, now I'd like you to think about a very different person. This is the person who appears to be the calm in the eye of the storm. Whether they are called into a crisis or if a crisis erupts around them, in a nanosecond, they can assess the situation they know what needs to be done short-term to stop the bleeding. They can effectively communicate that message with the sense of urgency without inciting panic while bringing everybody together. So in the middle of the storm, they can give orders, tell people what to do, and not piss anybody off in the process. Raise your hand if you know somebody like that. A little bit, hard, a little bit harder to think of that person, isn't it? The former person is an example of emotional intelligence with a lot to be desired. It's not operating on all four cylinders. The latter person is the gold standard for emotional intelligence. It's what we strive to achieve. And if you think about the words I use to describe somebody with high emotional intelligence, calm in the eye of the storm, effectively communicate, create a census, and a sense of urgency without panic, I think you would all agree that those are the same characteristics and the same words we would use to describe a leader. So my premise to you today is emotional intelligence is at the core. It is the very heart of leadership. And you can, in fact, not have one without the other.